Good evening. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a <coughs> they advertise you as a I'm giving giving a teachings. But anyway, for giving teachings, there's uh, I think maybe two things. You no, know, you know, either one has to be very scholar. You know, study study all of the Buddha's teachings and very scholar, then give teachings, or either no, uh, <coughs> even that not study, but people practice, practice so much. Then through experience, then they can teach, and then another way is. Some people have uh, what called we what do you call uh, orator skill? Or called some people can talk, yeah. So some people have a uh, orator skill, you know, then they can at least make uh, people to understand. So which one I don't have. So all these three this three things I don't have, yeah. So I don't have a uh, scholar knowledge, scholar I don't I haven't studied much. Then I don't have an uh, experience to teach. And then uh, anyway, maybe then also I don't have uh, any orator skills. But anyway, so maybe it's not kind of teachings, but uh, I share what I understand, you know, what, I, what I read, what I know, things I share. So it's not really a teachings, but it's kind of a sharing uh, information. Okay? So if it's teachings, <laughs> I feel shy too, you know, sometimes I feel embarrassed, you know. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, the today, I mean, the two. Anyway, the <coughs> there's um, some of the members here doing a prostrations, which I rejoice, you know. So there's some of them last time request about talk about the uh, prostration on 35 Buddha, yeah. So anyway, when the office asked me to give teaching, so I choose maybe to this topic, so it may be more beneficial. So <coughs> anyways, I don't know how, how we will start, see how it goes, yeah. So maybe not really in the sequence, uh, and then uh, I have my, my my tongue is a little bit thick, so sometimes the pronunciation is not clear. Yeah? So you have to raise hand and <laughs> <coughs> okay. So now in the beginning, yeah. So <coughs> so we start first. <laughs> ดอกเกจินโซเจเวซอนนามเยนโดลาเบนเจซอนเยนโดวารายซอนเยจุตันโซเจชอนนามลาจันโจปอร์โตดอนเนจัสุนดอกเกจินโซเจเวซอนนาม
In actually, Nalendra Monastery, uh, all the all uh, all all people they're monks, but Chandra Khomi is not a monk. Yeah? He's a lay, lay people. Then, so he he usually always debate with uh, Chandra Kirti, Chandra Kirti. Yeah? So he's a great master, and also emanation of uh, our Lokateshara. So Chandra Khomi said, uh, <coughs> I don't remember the exactly what. So basically. Uh, just as uh, elephants attach to the the grass that grow on the wall, well or wall, well, or the water well, well, yeah, water wells. So for piece, uh, they so attach to the piece of leaves, and then he tried to uh, pour in, in order to get that leaves, but he fell into the fell into the well, you know. So so our so our. Uh, <coughs> Or oh, this uh, holy, sustainable holy, this uh, pleasures and uh, happiness is also similar like that. So that means so. So this is like uh, so the elephants, you no, know, because there's a few grass of things on the well. So the elephants so much attached to that grass. So he tried to catch there, but he instead of catching this, he fell down. You know. So we too are like that. You know. I mean, so we are attached to temporary happiness. This life, happiness, tomorrow's happiness, just for few, for temporary happiness and pleasure's sake. So we like we run every day, you know. So we are, so, so we have to, we have to, uh, we have to uh, find a solution, you know. We have to look for further than temporal happiness. We look for ultimate happiness, you know. For this. Uh, so only the by following and then by practicing Buddha's teachings. So this is the only solution. So by this, so by you know, so by today we gather here. Uh, even I don't know much. We share information. You listen. So with contemplations, whatever we do, whatever action we we do for this temporal period, we create, we generate a good motivations. That is not only this life, but for ultimate lives. And that not ultimate is not only for our own sake but for the sake of all sentient beings. So we just generate motivation and so this thing, yeah. <coughs> so anyway, today topics, so it is uh, basically the, uh, uh, anyway, the when, we, when we, today's topics basically anyway included in the uh, in seven limbs prayer, yeah. So in Buddhist, in Buddhist prayer, Whatever prayer we do, especially pujas we do, and then actually the tantric practitioner, yeah, tantric, those action tantra, performing tantra, yoga chara tantra, highest yoga tantra, everything, whatever puja we do, there's actually seven limb prayers, you know. So this seven limb prayers basically is for <coughs> accumulation of merit and then purification of all, all negative things, yeah. So, <coughs> so this, uh, so, uh, uh, when the Buddha Shakyamuni first enlightened in Buddha Gaya, then after 59 days, uh, he taught the first teaching he gave was in Saranath, Deer Park, yeah, Deer Park. So, so the first he taught was taught us four noble truth. So everybody knows four noble truth. Maybe no need to go deeper. So, anyways, there's a. Uh, but it says uh, So need to understand the suffering sufferings and then they need to abandon the source of sufferings, the cause of sufferings, yeah. And uh, then uh, uh, so you have to <coughs> attain the cessations by through meditating a path, yeah. So when we talk about the truth of sufferings, there's uh, three things, three three kind of sufferings. Uh, there's a, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know. Some some translators, the suffering of pains, and if direct translation from Tibetan is like dungal ki dungal, so suffering of sufferings. And then uh, nowadays some texts, they some translator they they translate as uh, suffering of pain. So I think I don't know, maybe same meanings. Uh, so my English is not good, so I'm not sure. <laughs> so anyway, basically, is, uh, so there's the suffering of sufferings. Uh, there ones, uh, I mean, we only everybody has, you know, it's everybody, you know, there's the sufferings. We 
I mean, not only humans, but uh, the dogs, animals, they all understand suffering or sufferings. Then the second thing is there is the suffering of change. And the suffering of change, and then I think we feel uh, Geshe Trashi always, like Geshe Trashi, when he was with Lama, he always joked on the suffering of pain, you know. You eat, eat, then eat too much, you know, then <laughs> later sufferings. And then like in a monastery, like uh, in Kopan, last time we were like, the, sometimes food is not so tasty, then you, know, you put a lot of chili, you know. So when you, ch- you put chilies, it's a test, you know, it's a test. And then because it's just born in your mouth, and then, you know, then later you get a stomach problem, pain, these things. So it's you know, basically this kind of uh, suffering of change, you know. And then, I mean, in terms of our, I don't know, I mean, like if you, if you listen to His Holiness Dalai Lama's teachings, they always talk about the car, if you buy a new car, you know. Then in the, in, initially you are so happy, you know, you have a car, then, you know, later you have to pay, every year you have to pay road tax, you have to pay, I mean, COE, then the car breaks down, you have to repair, you know, these things. I mean, not, it's not only the car, I mean, it's house, the same, you know, everything is same. So, this is all kind of uh, sufferings, uh, suffering of change. Of course, it's in the beginning there's a pleasures, but then it changes into the sufferings, you know. So then the third, uh, third kind of uh, suffering is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, pervasive compositional sufferings. The truth of pervasive comp- compositional suffering. So it is the basis of the true previous two, yeah. So this one, this one is basically is our the contaminated uh, body and the aggregates all this through. So because it's a uh, why it's called pervasives because it cover whole spectrum of our you know the, our aggregates uh, all uh, contaminated body everything, and uh, compositional is because it it become basis for uh, our present sufferings and then the. the uh, and then uh, the future sufferings, pervasive. So this one, uh, the pervasive suffering is, I mean, of course, like uh, you know, suffering of pains, uh, suffering of changes are uh, quite easy to recognize and maybe quite easy to overcome. So, but the third, kind, third category of suffering is only when you, uh, when you have, a, when you, when they have a cessation of taking birth, rebirth again, yeah? Because as long as we take rebirth in the sampar, the samsaras, uh, there's a boundary we have with this suffering, suffering, yeah. Uh, so once you, once you, uh, once you stop the continual of taking rebirth, then uh, you, you know, then you, I mean, then you, uh, you no more. There's no more this uh, pervasive sufferings, pervasive compositional sufferings. So these are these are the uh, three kind of sufferings. Then. Uh, then the, we have to find, uh, of course, we, we understand the suffering, but then how the suffering come from, how it is gathered. So we have to look for the source of sufferings, yeah? the causes of sufferings. So, so for the cause, the second type of truth, uh, there's the causes of sufferings. Uh, so there's, uh, mm, uh, uh, there's a karma, the action, the yeah? source of actions. And then the uh, uh, afflictive emotion, afflictive emotions. So the karma is created by our three doors, body, speech, and mind. And then affliction emotions come through our ignorance, hatred, and de- desire attachments. These things, yeah. So. <coughs> So usually, uh, this is kind of we we can uh, you can put uh, like example maybe analogy like uh, maybe sick we are when we are sick you know uh, first we have to we have to we have to find out what uh, what is the sickness right we have to see the see what is the sickness then we go to the doctor and then doctor find what what cause of the sickness so. So what uh, what was the sickness finding understanding the what was the sickness first is the 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 first type of truth the uh, suffering of truth, then the second is what make what causes you the sickness. Let's say you have a uh, stomach pains, you have a diarrhea. So you have to usually we say what causes. Oh, yesterday we eat put some kind of food this and this, or we drank something like that. 
So it's causes. So we uh, look for the causes of suffering. I mean, so I mean, so what causes of the sickness? So then, so then you know, then the doctors say, oh, this is sickness. Then doctor will you know give a medicines. So we you we take a medicine according to doctor advice, and then then from by from the by taking medicines, then you you relieve the sickness. So same like uh, the Four Noble Truth is also like that. So uh, by understanding this, so anyway, there's uh, with the karma and affliction emotions, afflict, afflictive emotions. Uh, so actually, the main thing is uh, afflictive emotions. So karma basically, uh, karma is action. I mean, karma is Sanskrit word. So it's action has uh, basically uh, three things. I think there's a. Uh, uh, positive action, positive karma, virtuous karma, and non-virtuous karma, and neutrals. There are three things, yeah. So, so all this non-virtuous karma is uh, created from due to the uh, afflictive emotions. So the main thing is the, we have to abandon is first thing is to find the, what are the afflictive emotions, yeah. So. So in order to overcome these afflictive emotions. We have to understand the nature of phenomena, the reality of you no know, reality of the existence. So when you understand the that is that is I mean we in Buddhism we call emptiness. When you understand emptiness, then you then you realize, uh, and then you 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 achieve the cessation. So anyway, basically. So in Buddhist path, there's a five path. Yeah, there's a path of preparations, path of uh, uh, path of accumulations. There's a path of preparations, path of seeing, path of uh, meditation, and no more learning. So this thing passed. So when you once you realize uh, the emptiness, so uh, when you realize emptiness, so if you so there's a, we have a two two different set. There's a Hinayana path and Mahayana path. So the five path is also different. Yeah, so based on motivation. So if you, so when you achieve the, when you reach a part of thing, then uh, when you uh, when you realize the emptiness, then you you achieve the part of things. Yeah. So then you then there's uh, the part of cessations you achieve. So then you get uh, meditation. So you get uh, then ultimate. Uh, you get uh, if you t if you if you follow the Hinayana path, then you get the liberations. After no more learning, you get the liberations. And then if you follow path, uh, path of the Bodhisattvas uh, or Mayana, then you get uh, enlightenment. Yeah, we call it full enlightenment. So like that. So in order to see the, so in order to realize the ultimate nature of phenomena, uh, because right now we, it's difficult. I mean, it's, of course, one thing is you have to study and understanding past, but uh, second thing is because it's. Now it is kind of block, you know. It's, uh, everything is, is uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> so the I mean, uh, <coughs> so to, in order to understand the uh, empty, I mean, in, for to all the phenomena. Right now, it's kind of we are in a block darkness, you know. So, a lot of because this due to our all due to our negative action created from the past. I mean, from the beginning last time, you know, beginning last times. So, uh, we have created so many negative karmas, which uh, which which block, which uh, which become obstacle for realizing uh, realizing the. Uh, realize, get a realization and also uh, to understand, uh, realize, uh, uh, to achieve the wisdoms. So it becomes an obstacle. So uh, that's why in uh, Chakra Sambara Tantra, the 51, chapter 51, it says, Semji Chinyo Tongala Sosang Dijan In order to understand the reality of, reality of the mind, uh, you have to do accumulation of merit and purification of uh, negative actions. So two things. And then in later the Kadamba masters in Tibet, so they added 
So, so later than the Kadamba teachers, they edit extra word. There's uh, like in order to see the reality of minds, uh, we need to put effort on uh, accumulation of merit and purification of uh, negative actions. And for this, we can do like a uh, hundred thousands, uh, hundred syllable mantra, Bhadrasadva mantra, hundred syllable mantras, and then the the Tungshak uh, Yasha. So, hundred thousands prostration to the uh, to the Bodhisattva uh, moral downfall. So this 35 Buddhas, yeah. So to the 35 Buddhas name. So <coughs> this way, so uh, the reason, because the reason why we are still in the suffering is because uh, due to lack of our understandings. Because lack of our understandings related to samsara. So because why lack of? Because we are under the delusions where we have created so much negative karma, you know. I mean, actually we are creating negative karma from the from when we wake up in the morning and until sleeping, we have creating, I mean, almost, I think, if you if you count, you know, if you count, then I think if you count uh, negative and positive action, if we do, I think it's negative it will be like, you know, much more, you know, much more. So like, uh, uh, in the Kadamba, one of the Kadamba Geshe, Be Kunjins, he used to count <coughs> every day, like, if he, he put uh, some black stone and white stone, so every day, every day, if he, if he come like kind of negative thoughts, he put uh, uh, black stone there. So if he, if he come a kind of, if you generate some positive thought, he, he put a white stone there, you know. So in the, in the beginnings, there's the negative, the, the black stone was more and getting more and more, and then it, Slowly and uh, reduce, reduce, you know. So then later it become a uh, water wise stone. So it's kind of a the Kadamba way of practice like that, you know. So we, every day we have to, you have to count what are your, what our, what our, what what action we do, you know. What is what whether we doing a positive actions or negative actions, these things. So we have so in order to see these things, we have to purify all our negative things. So so in order to purify. Uh, so, so, so we do this. There's a uh, like uh, we call. We have to. Uh, there's a seven M prayers. So the seven M prayers like uh, prostrations, uh, confession, and uh, confessions, uh, confessing the negative action. Yeah, so confession and then offerings, uh, and then uh, 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 dedications, uh, requesting for to Dharma. We're turning the wheel of Dharma, and then, then requesting to requesting the Guru or Buddha to remain, you know, remains uh, all the times, uh, and then uh, I think the other one is the refuge. So there's a seven limb press, yeah. So when we do this uh, 35 Buddha practice, actually everything is uh, everything is included there, yeah. Everything included there. So. So in order to do this, uh, do the confessions, in order to do the purification practice, we need to apply uh, uh, four opponent powers. Uh, without four opponent power, no matter how much you do prostrations, uh, how much you do prayers, how much you do like, uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, Giving, uh, giving charities or doing volunteer, whatever work, whatever, whatever action, positive action we, we think. I mean, so all we, we people think that. So no matter how much you do, without these things, not much benefit. So every, I mean, so for the purification, this practice we have to we have to apply uh, four opening powers. So the first, uh, the first of four opening power is uh, power of Power of reliance, power of reliance. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I mean, if you read text, there's a like if you like uh, if you read text in the like a lamrim from the Pabongo, lamrim liberation palm in your hand, or in the Buddhist other way of life, uh, Shanti there was the sequence a little bit different. Yeah. So basically, here this one is uh, here. But first, uh, there's a uh, power power of reliance. Thank you, Top. And then, uh, thank you, Namunyabhukuja. Uh, power of remedies, and then uh, power of regret, 
and then power of four minutes. Uh, yeah. So these strings in the in the, in here it come in sequence like that because sometimes other text there's a power of great fast. Yeah. Then like that. So it, the sequence different. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It is yeah. So here the power relies is uh, so so it, we take refuge. Uh, we're taking a, taking a refuge. There's the power relies. Uh, going for taking a uh, Buddhist vows, uh, all these things are taking uh, this uh, all power relies. So taking a refuge because uh, every I mean every every time when we start prayer whatever action we have to do take a refuge. I mean refuge you have to take all the times you know. So refuge basically is is uh, is to differentiate uh, whether Buddhist or non-Buddhist. So refuge is main things in there. And then, uh, uh, then you have to take a uh, <coughs> buddhijita vows. Buddhijita vows differentiate between Hinayana and Mahayanas. Yeah. So then, this uh, thirty-five Buddha practice come under the Mahayana practice because the name itself is actually Changju Simbe Tung So uh, Buddhist moral down uh, conversion to Buddhist moral down fails. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it comes to like <coughs> my this. So actually, so there's uh, the power realize. Uh, basically, you go refuge, and then you take refuge. This thing is the power realize. Uh, and then uh, power remedies. There's uh, many many ways to do. Like uh, there's uh, reading a sutras, uh, reading a sutras, uh, reciting, reciting, reciting a mantras, uh, offerings. Um, and then uh, uh, mentioning the name of the Buddhas, uh, so and then and also maybe doing voluntary works, helping others. These are all uh, power realize. Uh, so this, you know, the second was the power of remedies. Sorry, yeah. I am confused. I'm <laughs> I'm making you confused. So we have what we have what power of reliance, power of remedies. Yeah, because the second was remedies. So the remedies there's a so reciting a sutras. Uh, reciting, uh, I mean, mantras of making uh, offerings, and then voluntary work, charity work, and then uh, reciting name of the mantras, uh, name of the name of the Buddhas. So the so when you do recite the 35 Buddha Buddhas name, so it is come under the reciting the names Buddhas. Yeah. <coughs> So then the so then the third third one is uh, power of regret. So here is power of regret. So you have to you have to recognize whatever negative action you have done. You know, actually you have to count. Actually, the word say you put in the bag. That means you put in front like a like a shop in the what you call it. If you if you putting a shop on the roadside, you put everything in dis display. You have to display you have to display all your negative actions, and then you know you have to. Each and you have to confess each like that. So this power of regret that you know. So without regret, I think it's difficult. Basically, it's difficult to purify these things. Then the fourth one is uh, uh, power of promise, or sometimes sometimes say power of resolve. So basically, so they here you have, you have to you make promise not to do again. So first, you have to recognize that negative action you do. Then, then you have to. So you have to then you have to like. Uh, uh, you have to promise not to repeat that again, you know. So in the 35 Buddha in the practice, there like come this, you know. So like, uh, I mean, the power of promise, like we have to actually every morning when we wake up, we have to, you know, uh, there's a certain action, like negative action we don't do every day. It's like we don't do killings, you know, especially uh, like heinous crimes, we don't do these things. So these things, every morning we wake up, you know, we, we have to promise not to do whole life, we can promise these things. Then there are certain things like, you know, maybe lying or certain things. Uh, if you promise not to do whole life, then it's quite kind of, it's kind of lying, you know. <laughs> it's quite difficult to, uh, I mean, because when you, we have, to, we have to live in daily life, you know, so sometimes if you're doing business or, you know, or if you especially, I don't know, anybody lawyer here, like sometimes lawyer, and if you are working the... <laughs> huh? 
Stephen is not here. Stephen is. <laughs> oh, okay. So sometimes I mean you have to you know you have to do a white what we call a white lie. Yeah? <laughs> so these things uh, there are certain things uh, I mean we we happen to do daytime. You know, so these things like we have to say maybe we have to promise like we reduce or maybe like maybe we how many hours we can not drink like every listen. So those you, we don't do normally every day. This one we can like you know. There's certain let's say I mean, uh, let's say lawyer no need to one week and maybe no need to go to court. You know then you can promise. Okay, I know that I'm not lying. You know you can promise for this whole week I will not lie. You can promise. You know. So the benefit is more. Otherwise, uh, I mean every morning like we go in front of Buddha and promise that you no know, we not do any negative actions. But then. It's kind of a uh, you know kind of, kind of lying, you know, because we are, uh, until we are get enlightened, we are bound to do s certain actions, you know, because we are under control of the control of the and uh, this afflictive motion. So we we bound to do certain things. So so those actions that you don't <coughs> you you know we normally don't do so like killings or like maybe stealings, all these things you can say. I mean, we, we can promise. So every morning, if you promise, there's a benefit, you know. I mean, just no doing is there's. I mean, of course, it's good, good actions, but uh, I don't think there's much benefit, you know. So same like even you doing charities, there's a beggar. I mean, Singapore you don't find beggars, maybe unless you go Orchard Road. There one also you don't call beggar. What do you call? Huh? Uh, you don't call beggar. What do you call? If people do music and then ask for money, it's for, uh, huh? Baskar, yeah, Baskar. This Australian word is Baskar. So maybe you can find Baskar, but not you don't find uh, any beggars. So, but if you go India and Nepal, there's the beggars, you know. Then sometimes the beggars they irritate you, you know, kind of, you know, they irritate. Then you 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 give, but you give with anger. With the, you don't want to give, still you give, you know. So I don't think there's any benefit by giving. I mean, of course, maybe there's a, there should be some, but so you know. Uh, my holy guru Lama Zobar when he, he when he give beggars and he always you know generate motivation for us and he respect these things he give then he make a dedication Changju Samjay Rinpoche Majewan you know so this all this uh, he make dedications you know so <coughs> so that's why like when you happen to go to India and Nepal because. Yeah, it's irritated. And actually, I mean, it's irritated us. I mean, of course, it irritated you too, you know. So when you beggars, they force you, force you to give, you know. So I mean, if you give, then you give with good heart, you know, with good motivation, good good attitude. So more beneficial. Otherwise, you give, but you know, this this kind of waste, actually waste of energy, you know. So same like here, like uh, when you make a power of formis also, like morning every morning when you do. These things, <coughs> so you, uh, those negative actions that we, we normally don't do, I mean, especially like Hindu Karan, we do like killing father, killing mother, killing this uh, forest, we never do, right? These things we just, we make decisions that, okay, whole life I will not kill, you know, you can make decisions that, then certain things, you know, you have to do certain things happen in the day, so you, you, you promise other you try to minimize, you know, well, I mean, even you do, then uh, immediately make a confession, you make a purification, you know. Lama Adisha, when, if you see Lama Adisha's picture, there's always a carrier, a stupa there, yeah? The worst reason of carrying a stupa is, every, I mean, even for Lama Adisha, you know, it's, I mean, he, even every time, every second he made any mistakes, he immediately put a stupa there and proceed make a confession, make purification, you know? So, for us, I mean, we even don't know what 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 negative action or positive action we do. We don't remember, yeah. So that's why every time, uh, every negative created, we have to uh, make a purifications, yeah. So that's why the power relies. Like, uh, of course, there's many things you can do. Bhaja that uh, the hundred syllable recite mantras. You can do. Uh, I mean, especially doing a reading of this. Uh, uh, golden Lion Sutras, all these things, you know, and then but uh, the 35 Buddha is uh, Buddha is uh, very powerful, and then if you if you read those uh, great master of Tibetans, Tibet, they all did uh, 
all the power, this 35 Buddha's practice, like in the other traditions, uh, they have a Gondru practice, Gondru preliminary practice, yeah? So before taking initiations, you have to do the, all the preliminary practice, like uh, offering 100,000 uh, water bowls, offering, doing uh, 100,000 for stations, then uh, offering 100,000 mandala, all these things. But uh, in Lama Tsongkhapa traditions, of course, we have uh, do 100,000 reciting celebrations. Uh, what the hundred syllable mantras because usually by it says when you uh, when you recite uh, hundred hundred thousand hundred syllable mantras you purify almost all the negative karma created in the past yeah so anyways uh, so and then uh, usually so in uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's traditions he never mentioned that you have to do hundred thousand uh, prostration to uh, thirty five Buddhas. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, it says as many as possible. That means like you have to do many, many every day, every day in the morning and the evenings. Uh, like Lama Tsongkhapa, he, so when uh, he, he, anyway, Lama Tsongkhapa, like uh, when he, uh, he got a vision, I mean, he, usually Lama Tsongkhapa, he see like Manjushiri, like man to man, you know. So in the initialist, when he first uh, see Manjushiri, so, uh, Majushiri asked him, you know, so you have to do more purifications at this, you know. So then Lama Tsongkhapa went to a place called Walkal Choling, it's uh, in Lhasa, somewhere near Walkal Choling. Then he did uh, uh, this uh, prostrations, you know, he never, I mean, he never mentioned this, uh, he did 100,000, but he did many prostrations on the 35, reciting the name of the 35 Buddhas, yeah. So, and then if you read like Papongko uh, Dejen Yingbos, all these things, you know, they, so they all recite this 35 Buddha Manes Mantra and names and then do prostrations, yeah. So that's why the 35 Buddha uh, is kind of a very, what do you call, uh, very powerful practice for removing the conviction, removing the, our, removing the, our the negative actions, yeah. And then, uh, so, <coughs> uh, of course, uh, I mean, you do prostrations, but also, I mean, even you cannot do prostrations, uh, what you do is, I mean, you can recite, like every morning, you can recite uh, 35 Buddha names, and evening before you sleep, also, you can recite 35 Buddha names, you know. Uh, and also, I mean, you can, uh, you can do the number, counting numbers, uh, you can recite 30, uh, 35 Buddha names, maybe every day, 25, 35, 100, I don't know how many times you can do, yeah, you can do. So, uh, so if you're doing a number, reciting a number just for recitings, uh, you can do, I mean, let's say, and then prostration also same, so yeah. Uh, so if you are doing like recitings, maybe you don't have to call, you just recite the, the 35 Buddha's name, then you go back and repeat, and then, uh, end of the things, then you finish everything, yeah, so all these things. So usually this uh, 35 Buddha, Buddha is, Buddha's confession is in called uh, Three Heap of Sutra. It's also named, yeah, it's, uh, actually it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, Buddha, it's a Buddha's teachings. It's, uh, uh, some, I mean, some people say it's not Sutra because usually when you read Sutra, that's one I kind of, but one time I heard like this, this, yeah, so it people contradicts, oh, in the, uh, this 35 Buddha's uh, confession, there's no this, such things. Because this is a sutra, within a sutra, uh, uh, stake of jewels, sutra, sutra, stake of jewels. So it is mentioned there, so this thing, yeah. Uh, so, <coughs> so three hope heap, what's the three heap is like, so, uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, 35 Buddhas, this uh, confession contains uh, confessions. Uh, this uh, three three of the confessions, then uh, dedication and uh, rejoice. There are three things. So this are uh, called three heaps of sutras. Yeah. Mm, so <coughs> uh, so that is the 35 Buddhas. So maybe visualizing we talk later. So we talk about now prostrations. Uh, so prostrations uh, actually Tibetan called Chaksal and then the Sanskrit is Nama. Actually, in, if you go like uh, Nepal, the people say Namaste. You know, Namaste actually is Nama. I mean, I prostrate, I respect, respect. You know, so 
Uh, and then he, sometimes people say Namaskar, you know. And if you, if you go to India, they're called Pranam, Pranam. So these are all kind of, uh, it's a kind of homage, you know, these greetings, yeah. So, <coughs> so uh, prostration is also, uh, the reason why you do prostration is, basically prostration is our uh, antidote to our ego. E ego static, ego static, egos, huh? Egos, you know, we have so much ego. You know, if people say something, we immediately get, you know, like that. Yeah, <laughs> it just come up like that, boom, you know. <laughs> and then sometimes the shop, you go to the restaurant. If the waiter don't treat, then you get ego, boom. Yeah, then you go shop. And then sometimes people, some sales ladies irritate. Then you also got a boom, you know, so kind of egos. So basically, it's the prostration. The reason the prostration is to actually it's antidote to antidote to uh, ego sting. Yeah. So actually, it's uh, all the uh, all the poor seven limb prayers like uh, so prostration. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, prostration is what uh, this antidote to uh, ego. Then uh, I also don't remember all. <coughs> then uh, we offer, make offerings. We make many offerings. All these offerings for antidote to um, what called stingy miser, huh? Is misery, misery, or I mean, skin, you know, like sometimes. We, we want to give also, you give, but sometimes, like, just now we talk about giving the beggars, you know, or you have no joy, they irritate so much, you give, but actually from inside you have no, no, no thought of giving, you know, you have no intention of giving. So this miser, so it's offerings, these things actually is uh, part of charities, you know, part of practice of generosity, you know. So it's, uh, that's why you're making offering is also antidote to, uh, miseries. Then uh, doing uh, confessions. We are doing confessions to 35 Buddha or uh, confession by reading a uh, hundred syllable mantras. Uh, this are uh, antidote to uh, ignorance, desire, attachment, hatred. All these three afflict emotions. So the antidote to yeah. Then then we have a uh, we rejoice. The rejoicings our other people's good activities and their good uh, virtuous actions, rejoicing and so it's kind of uh, it's antidote to jealousy. Yeah, otherwise otherwise people make offering but then you, you criticize, oh he did offering with this because he wanted to make a name, you know. Uh, sometimes they say, oh he give he, uh, he give uh, donation to this because he wanted to have a good uh, kind of good profile, you know. <laughs> right? So we we, we make I mean, <laughs> so we, we, I mean, if you don't, of course, if people like, then they, they rejoice, but sometimes we don't like, you know, let's say there's sometimes, this, I mean, we have an enemy or some dislike, the person we dislike do some positive actions, but we still make kind of some way to criticize, you know, because we, 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 we have this kind of jealousies, you know, jealousies. So, <clears throat> So then uh, requesting uh, to give teaching is, is as an uh, antidote uh, to abandoning the Dharma. You know, sometimes uh, this is <coughs> uh, sometimes you, you take a teaching from one Lama and then you know want to see Lamas. The Lamas maybe have no time or different reason don't want to see or you don't get a chance to be close. Then you criticize Lamas, you know, and then or then you, and, and ultimately, oh, it's okay, taking the Chinese temple is no good, I'm going off, you know, maybe going to church, <laughs> you know, right? So, that kind of happen things, you know, uh, these things happen. So, this is by requesting this, uh, uh, requesting, <coughs> <coughs> so requesting, uh, requesting the turning will of Dharma is, so basically is uh, antidote for, you know, this uh, antidote for this uh, Chopama. So, uh, abandoning the dharmas, and then uh, uh, the last one is uh, we request lamas to remain forever. Is so because sometimes maybe you know we get angry with lamas, these things. So it causes 
when uh, when students so when students are not in harmonies it causes lamas to shorten life or lamas to have obstacles you know so by uh, requesting lamas to remain forever so it's an antidote to this kind of negative actions yeah okay <coughs> So because uh, because uh, this ended prostrations, so prostrations uh, by doing prostrations, there are many benefits, benefits. So I can't remember exactly. So I read through the text. <laughs> so the benefit is like uh, one is by doing prostrations, uh, you become uh, you you have a you have a nice body with like a Buddhas, you know, like uh, with golden body, golden bodies. You get a golden bodies. Yeah, and then uh, and by doing prostration, you also like a uh, uh, very handsome or beauty. I mean, handsome is about men and then beautiful ladies. You know, <laughs> very beautiful. The pers- the moment the person see, you know, immediately like kind of, or call a, uh, I don't know, uh, at- <laughs> <laughs> You just get the. I mean, you just get the feelings. You know, I mean, right? You just uh, I don't know what kind of feelings, but uh, the moment you see that, so this kind of. Uh, this is also the benefit of doing prostration, you know. So certain people you see, the moment you see, you don't like it. But there's certain people, even you're not familiar, there's kind of, you know, uh, you get these things, yeah. And then, uh, third one is Kenyan Jing number. So, you have a nice voice, beautiful voice. You know, everybody likes to listen. Not like mine, you know, like under Ralph, you know. Maybe the word also not clear. But there's some people like, very soothing voice, you know. Just like to, you feel like you want to listen, you know. Even the person talk rubbish, but you still feel like a, you know. <laughs> huh? No, but this this is the this way doing prostration. Then you get you you know you this kind of the benefit. You know you get these things. Uh, huh? Yeah. Then also like uh, so like. Uh, uh, there are some people like uh, going into the crowded or like talking in front of many people, like a politician, they don't have the hesitations, right? Some people like hesitate to speak. I, 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 for me, like I feel like, you know, all the, before I come here, I'm very shaking, you know. <laughs> so, so maybe I need to do more prostration too, you know. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, that means if you see like some people in very confidence, so much confidence, you know. Just talk to anybody, anything, talk, anything. Some people like, you know, shake, hand shake. Uh, when the mouth also shake, you know, then the words not clear, you know, like that, you know. So, <coughs> and then the fifth one is, uh, so there's a 10 benefit, yeah, 10 benefit. So this, uh, the, the fifth one is, Thadam Minam Gaur Yuva, then all the God and human like, like, like you, you know, like you, that. You know. And then CG uh, Chamburgua become very powerful. I mean, CG. Uh, I don't know how to translate CG. Uh, people, some people look, uh, you see it kind of bright, you know, like uh, look very powerful and bright, yeah? What do you, what do you call in English? Word? I don't know. CG. There's a certain people like have a, like very, you know, the women see it's like people are scared or something, you know, something, there's a power, you know. Uh, huh? Yeah, something, yeah, so the sudden, yeah, feel it, there's you no, know, this very, you know, even he, even he don't do anything, but the moment you see him, you know, he look very powerful and then kind of things, you have this kind of same things. So you become like that, yeah, Siji Chempu Yuvas. And then uh, seven one is like uh, so the persons all the Buddha, Bodhisattva, and then uh, uh, Sangye, uh, all the hearer and all the friend, uh, they will like 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 him. And then eight one is then you get longer chawa you are you you achieve you get a lot of wealth. You know. And then the uh, ninth one is, then you, you reborn into the higher, realm, higher realms. And then the tenth one is, uh, then you will ultimately you get enlightenment soon. Yeah? 
Of course, ultimately, get everybody enlightenment if you practice, but it gets soon. Yeah? So these are the ten benefits of frustrations. Yeah? So, so, so this, this mo- I mean, it's kind of coincident. This morning, one lady come here, uh, <coughs> Indian, I think Indian origin, yeah? Indian origin. She says she has, uh, her husband is uh, stroke, stroke, and then she can't find a job. You know, she's very in trouble. Ask me to bless, give me a blessing. She said, give me blessings. <laughs> Then I try to explain our cause and condition. This thing, you know, create marriage. This she said, and she don't understand. Give me a blessing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so she's expecting, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, like, huh? Just miracles, you know, something like a fruit from the tree just boom come down like that, you know. So in the Buddha's in the Buddha's teaching, there's not that possible, you know. Everything is, Buddha says. Uh, you are your own masters, you know. So, if you have created good causes, good karmas, good actions from the past, so then you enjoy the result now, you know. So, if you did, if you create all the negative actions, you 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 have to experience the result now. So this is the reality of things, you know. So this way. So I mean, that's why you can't expect like a miracle things. So only possible like this thing is by removing that all these negative actions we have created the the causes causes that we have created all these negative actions by removing only these things, then you can have the positive actions. It's like a uh, let's say you want to I mean you already plan a, a certain seat in the field, you know, like let's say. Maybe I put the analogy like farmers. I born in farmers, you know, <laughs> farmers' sons. Yeah. So, they you you they put a let's say let, they they put a wheat on the ground in the on the field, you know. Oh, suddenly oh I d- no no this is not correct, you know. I want to maybe the you put all the wheat there. Maybe after one month oh this maybe I I don't want wheat, you know. I want to plant a what potato maybe. So, when you plant potato, I mean the wheat will always grow, already grow, you know. So you can't stop wheat to grow, right? Because it already plant. So, in order to, <coughs> in order to plant potato, and you don't want to let the wheat to grow, you have to remove the wheat first, right? Then you plant, a, you plant a potato. Same like you know, I mean. Making prayers and these things, of course, yeah, of course, there's a benefit, but you, you can't explain like in the, the the negative action we have already created. You know, we have created this already bound bound to ripen. You know, boundary. That means you plant a apple tree. Is all those there's a fruit already ready to ripen. You can't go let it back, right? So, so it's ready to ripen. So the only thing is we have to first make purify that. Take out from the root, you know, and then, and then if you then if you plant things in the same like that, you know. So we have to create, you have to purify all the negative karma first in order to have a, a positive uh, knowledge in order to understanding that, you know, uh, reality of things. We have to we have to remove all the negative action we have created beginning next time, you know, because. Later in the, uh, I think I go through the 35 Buddha's names, so it's come there, like from the beginning less times, because actually our life is, we, we, do, we, we, we have, we, we can't pinpoint, oh, life start from there. There's no such thing as life start from there, so it's a kind of beginning less time, you know, so these things. So, so doing, pers- <coughs> so okay, this is a 10 benefit, yeah, and then, and generally also like uh, for exercise for station you know you can have exercise uh, if you do if you know how to do proper prostration actually there's a last time uh, <laughs> mommy uh, last time uh, they, mommy, we buy a what called like uh, in the beginning they have excess what you call the tummy to make a tummy or what do you call that you know there's a uh, last time there's one thing you do like this you you make tummy is make small you know huh and anyway, these round things you just do like this, and this, and this, you know. So you make a tummy. So actually, uh, if you do prostration properly, yeah, you don't need this all gadget, you know. 
you are just wasting money, you know. Actually, so you, you yeah. <laughs> You do purple prostrations, actually there's exercise. If you do, I mean, I mean, of course I talk, but I also don't do, right? <laughs> uh, so if you properly do prostrations, there's actually the way you can reduce your tummy and then you exercise, you know. No need to go gyms and everything, you know, like thing. So, uh, of course, then <coughs> then the same time you exercise and at the same time you create merit, you know. You, are, you save money, so. So there's a like, and then actually this it says, uh, uh, it says actually in this life, you you don't have cancers, you have uh, no uh, liver problems, uh, you have no heart problems. All these things uh, by by if you by doing this this even this life, you know. I mean, the earlier we talk about ten benefits, but then. And maybe I don't know later. It depends on your karma when you arrive. It karma can be arriving any times or maybe other times, you know. So, so these things, even this life, we we know that there's, there's some of these things. These are the so these are the benefit. All many benefit there. <coughs> so then, uh, how we do prostrations? <coughs> uh, there's prostrations. We have uh, two things. Uh, one is called. Uh, kumchak, uh, kumchak uh, is uh, we do the sh we we call long prostration, short prostration. Yeah. So anyway, the short prostration is basically you have a yalang, uh, you have your you touch your five limb five limbs. That is uh, your two hand, two knee, and then your forehead. Yeah. So every time you, I mean we we also last time we when we were young we don't when you do prostration very far we don't touch the knee. You know, when, uh, sometimes we go prostration to stupa lamas of Rumiji, do always prostration. So. We, so much dust, we, we just kind of know this, we don't touch. But uh, actually, it's the purple prostrations, when you do the short, port, I mean the, uh, short prostrations, you have to touch your knee, your two hand, and then the forehead must touch on the ground. Yeah? So that's the that's short prostrations. And then there's a <coughs> uh, long prostration also. So this is like, uh, also the long prostrations, uh, it is mentioned in Sutra, you know, it say like uh, the, if, you, if you cut a tree log, you know, it, how it fell down, you know, it, it fell down like certain like, so you have to, the same like this procession, you, the moment you do procession, then touch your hand like this, yeah, so these things, so you plan, but then the, when you stand up, you must stand up quickly, it's uh, how you say like uh, wolf, wolf, the wolf, when he's eating, they're sitting down there, certainly something like just immediately like jump in like that. So you have to do like that. Because sometimes people slowly getting up like this, you know, exercise. Maybe you, uh, if, you uh, if you do maybe many persons, you get tired, you know, then like slowly like that, you know. So actually, uh, in the Pabongo De Jinyingbu, Pabongo says, actually it's not inappropriate, you know. So, it will create causes you to born as a cow, you know, animals like that, you know. And also when you, when you do prostrations, uh, you have to the hand, sometimes you can't do like this, you have to do like this, touch, touch the uh, nails, you know, all the fingers like this, yeah, like this. Or also when you would do this, when you stand up, you cannot do like, sometimes, I mean, old people then can't stand like this, you know, maybe uh, different, maybe excuses, but uh, you have to do, you cannot do like this, you know, like that. So it is also because the, what we call the animals, cow, and they have our, their feet is like that. So it creates causes to be born in that kind of uh, realms, yeah. So, <coughs> so, <coughs> so of course, then uh, when you do prostrations, the motivation has to be like, you know, so when you do, uh, do prostration, you can visualize you can, uh, you can, I mean, you can uh, visualize many, uh, many bodies, uh, many hands, you know, same like thousands of um, chairs, you know, you can visualize thousands of um, chairs touching the whole ground, you know, and not purify not only your negative karma, but uh, purify all the sentient beings, especially the one you touch the ground, lower realms, you know, the purify and so, uh, you have the things you can you can manifest many many heads many many hands many many bodies or otherwise that sometimes some people have a difficulty in that visualization then you just 
visualized body with many hands that cover many, many atoms, you know. So there's a, every atom, there's a sentient beings. And then, so also, and then, uh, so when you do these things, you have to visualize that way, you know. So, and then you have to, you have, you have to, you have to, you have to think that actually is when you do prostrations, you they purify your negative karma. You have to think, you know. Actually, you have to think and you have to believe it. Otherwise, you do uh, oh, whether I my uh, negative karma is purified or not. Huh? You, you have doubt, you know. Then it's not possible. You have to have a convictions that you know my negative purify, you know. And especially if you do prostration, purif- uh, what you call you perspire, huh? you get you get, you just visualize that all oh, your negative karma coming out in the water form and then washing out, you know. So actually there's a, uh, in the, in the Tantric practice when you do uh, the hundred syllable mantras, um, so actually there's a three way to do, uh, means there's a, we are called uh, upward, downward, like this kind of purifications. So like if you, I mean even actually we can do like every, every evening before you sleep, actually it says, uh, Usually, I mean, we do, we create so much negative kind of negative action every day. So, end of the, before going to bed, we have to do 21 times of the 100 syllabus mantras, you know. Not the short one, long one, yeah. <laughs> so, you have to do, then you, when you do this, so actually, also you're doing Bhazasattva practice. Uh, so, you, that time is visually, you visualize Bhazasattva on your head, forehead, and you, there's the water, all the nectar coming from that. So, first seven, first seven round, you visualize all your, this thing, Yoshna, all your negative credit by, from your physicals, from your body, if you, like, such as maybe uh, killing, uh, so much, again, stealings, uh, misconduct, all these things, wash through down, you know, all the things, you know, wash down with the uh, white nectars, come down, go all the way, everything purifies. You have to believe this, or you have need a conviction. Okay, when you wash it down, you feel. I mean, if you feel, feel, feel every day, one day you feel, you feel really like there's all washed down. You get feelings, you know. So basically, it's, uh, that's why we talk about this. Buddhism is from the mind. We practice from, you know, not not things from the outside. That's we have to purify in the mind. So, so, so the first seven round, you can uh, you can visualize that everything purify all your negative action created from your. Bodies is purifies. You go down. That's a uh, amartya. And then pungde means. So then, uh, when you purify seven rounds, the second seven rounds. If you're doing a twenty-one rounds, so the second seven rounds. Then, uh, what you do is, you visualize all the nectars. Fill down like the one bucket. is fill up like this, you know. So when you fill up, all your negatives, like kind of what overflow, like in the bucket. If there's put so much water, then overflow, you negative all the things flow off. From, come from your eye, uh, ear, all the holes, whatever your nose, mouth, ears, eye, everything you come from, and then you travel all the way around. So you have to visualize, and then the and then the third, third like third uh, seven times you have to visualize that. So the second we have to visualize that whatever negative action created through your speech. You know, uh, what's the what's the four things you created? Speech. Zun tamaya, lying, uh, hard speech, zun tama, then the hard speech. Uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, so you have to you have to think all this purify. Yeah. Then the third uh, third uh, seven times we have to. So you visualize then there's a, instead of a white nectar like running waters, you visualize light. You know. So let's say I mean we have a one room. If all the window, everything closed, yeah. So the moment you want to open, all the room suddenly become a bright, right? So you have to think that when the light comes in, uh, all our uh, negative action created through the mind, it just sort of automatically like kind of disappear, you know. It's just like every on that second, the moment it immediately disappears. So you have to think. So even I mean, I think for maybe doing prostration is a little bit difficult to visualize that way, but. Uh, Let's say, like, if you are, if you are, I mean, actually, it's when you travel in, the, if you are traveling in the public transport in MRT or buses. I mean, uh, sometimes if you are staying far away, it's kind of long travel. Then you can, 
you can recite all these uh, 35 Buddha mantras, you know, and you can visualize, actually, you know, you are not wasted time, you know. So you can make use of all the times. <coughs> So, uh, okay, so then uh, <coughs> before doing prostrations, uh, uh, so anyways, uh, it's, uh, usually you have to sit down, generate motivations, then you go do refuge, you do the four immeasurable, immeasurable, measurable, <laughs> measurable practice, yeah, there's the four buddhichidas. Then in, uh, if possible, you do the short guru yogas, like in the Lama Zongkhapa tradition, we do the uh, hundred days joys, the Ganil Hajimaya. So uh, then uh, you do, then you offer a mandalas. You can offer a seven limb press, yeah? seven limb, short seven limb press. Gosun uh, Gubyo like uh, I prostrate, I homage to from body, my three doors, body, speech, and mind. Uh, so I, pre I present uh, all the offerings, cloud of, cloud of offerings, imagine, uh, actual and images, yeah? So in uh, my whole guru, Kyabuji Rinpoche, always after this, he recite the mandra, the, what we call the uh, multiple line mandra. Namu Bhagavam, Namu Bhagavadev, Bhagavad Guru, Bhagavad Gita, this one you, so multiply mandra he recite. Uh, or you can do otherwise, so you, Gosun Guru Moshe, so, so I will confess all my negative action and that uh, accumulated from the beginningless. So uh, so I uh, I rejoice all the Buddha and Bodhisattva's actions, deeds, and uh, uh, this uh, rejoice and Koran Badam Badam So uh, please remain until the end of samsara, and then Please turn the wheel of Dharma for the sake of sentient beings. So, uh, so then uh, the positive action that uh, created by me and other sentient beings, I will dedicate for the all of, every for the whole beings for the sake of whole beings. So this uh, seven in press, yeah. I think your text about uh, Nyingma text, Nyingma, <laughs> you can do that too. It's, it's up to you. Yeah, it's individual choice. Yeah, so. Usually we follow the Lama Tsongkhapa's traditions, so this we do that. So then uh, after this you offer a short mandala, Sashipeji Shushi Mandata, Rira Ling Shin Yidajava. So you short offer mandala, then you can do start doing a, uh, doing a prostration. So before doing prostrations, now we, <coughs> 35 Buddhas, you can visualize 35 Buddhas. So uh, visualizing 35 Buddhas, there's a few, few uh, different traditions. Uh, uh, there's uh, one of the Lama Tsongkhapa, Lama Tsongkhapa when he was doing a uh, practice, so he got a vision of 35 Buddhas, or 30, all 35 Buddha visions. And one later, one of the, his visions, uh, he tell his story, uh, he told his students, and one of the students wrote down, yeah. So this, this one says uh, all 35 Buddha have different hand symbols, different colors, and a little bit difficult to... Uh, difficult to visualize. I mean, difficult to remember. Actually, it's once you remember, of course, not visualize. So anyway, I have make uh, boxes here, and maybe I pass on the chain. So if you like, you can copy. Yeah. Uh, actually, someone has here. Somebody has here. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this one I uh, also by each and each reciting each names of Buddhas. How much negative karma? What kind of negative karma is purified? Yeah. And then uh, color and hand gestures here. If uh, I mean, then this is the Lama Tsongkhapa's visions, according to Lama Tsongkhapa's visions, yeah. Uh, then there's a, uh, easiest way is, uh, it's uh, taught by uh, Nagarjuna, and then in the, the seventh Lala Lamas, he wrote a text about the question and answers. So it's also mentioned about that. Uh, it's come on, you visualize, like a Dhyani Buddha, five, five Dhyani Buddhas, yeah, five Dhyani Buddhas. And also it's kind of related with, uh, in Penjin Rinpoche, the post Penjin Lhasa Chi Yal, then it's uh, actually visualizing, he have, a, he, he have a two things, mandala, mandala, with, visualize with mandala and without mandala. Yeah? So I think here we do 
without mandalas. So with mandalas, I think you have initiation, these things, you have different things, yeah? So, <coughs> so you, uh, so in Lama Tsongkhapa's traditions, the Buddha is surrounded, whole surrounded around, yeah? When you visualize Buddha Shakyamuni in center, then other Buddhas, all 35 surrounded like that. And then uh, with, uh, with this, uh, like uh, also the Panjari Buddhists also follow the five Dana Buddha, <coughs> like a five tiny Buddha's colors. Uh, so this one's, uh, you have a, uh, so with, uh, you can visualize Buddha Shakyamuni's, uh, Buddha Shakyamuni in the golden, anyways, 35 is actually the 35, uh, including Buddha Shakyamuni, yeah? So, so there's a, so there's a five, uh, so seven, 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 five set, yeah, seven, five set. So the first one is only four, uh, there's a six, so this is Vididix, Buddha Shakyamuni, and uh, Buddha Naga, uh, Luangi Jawo. This is a little bit different uh, mudras and the color a little bit different. Otherwise, all like the same type, five Dhyana Buddha. So when you visualize, uh, you have to do first, you visualize Buddha in golden color, and then a hand in uh, teaching mudras, yeah, and uh, holding a balls, and then uh, uh, there's a few different traditions, like uh, some visualize there's a hung at the heart, hung slippers at the heart. And then from there, all the rainbow colors, you know, ten rainbow colors manifest upward, uh, ten rainbow colors manifest downward, and then uh, seven uh, right and left, seven each to the right and left, you manifest rainbows. On top of the rainbows, then there's uh, each rainbow has uh, uh, pearl thrones supported by the elephant. So in there, so this all the Buddhas, yeah? Uh, this, uh, this one, you see this picture is uh, actually, this one's also like, anyway, you see there's uh, this thing, yeah, so this, then uh, below is uh, this uh, eight medicine Buddha and this thing. So this one's uh, Lama, Lama Zobarambuji has created the Tangas, his ideas, yeah? So, uh, this also like similar like five dynamic Buddhas. So it's because it's easy, easy to visualize. It's easy to visualize. So then the first row, you have a Buddha Shakyamuni. Then there's a Buddha Shakyamuni. Uh, in, I think Rinpoche is here is uh, our Lokadeshir at heart. Because our Lokadeshir is a Buddha of compassion. And so that, then from there, the, all the rainbow crumbs. Uh, other tradition, they have a... Uh, uh, there's a uh, hung, uh, hung slivers at heart, then from there all the rainbow comes, yeah. So then, so all the Buddhas, like the first, first row of Buddhas, the sixth one is same like uh, Buddha Akshobhya. In the Akshobhya is, how the Akshobhya? I think Akshobhya in blue colors, and except the Buddha of what you call now, The Lord of Nagas, except the Lord of, Lord of Nagas, uh, the mudra was like kind of, I think, like a snake, yeah, snake, snake head, the, the, the two finger touch like that, I think. Like this, and then the face is white, you know, so race color, same. So then the actual beard, then the second row is Berejana, like white, white colors, and then the third is uh, Ravna Sambhava, yellow, and then the fourth one is uh, Amitabha Buddha, red colors, and then the fifth one is uh, uh, green, Amogashiti. Yeah, so you visualize these things. And of course, uh, uh, usually in the FMR tradition, Lama Zobar tradition, Lama Zobar tradition, you also do the seven, uh, the, the um, uh, medicine Buddha, yeah? So that's why you have here is the eight medicine Buddha's line there, so you practice. And then the uh, Rinpoche especially designed this, uh, we have a Bazar Satwa, then the, there's a uh, kunrik, uh, and there's a uh, uh, kunrik. Then the, mm, mm, and then the, there's a uh, namgyalma. Yeah. So these are all all these deities are very powerful, especially for the purification practice. So these are these things. Anyway, this one uh, doesn't matter which way, but if you wish. so the. Here is like a, under like a kind of line, so easy to, easy to visualize. But uh, so as I say, like uh, in Penjin Buddhist there, like he mentions, so seven this left, seven right, you know, ten up, 
10 below like this, you can visualize. So it depends on which way you visualize. And then there's other traditions that are you know, a little bit uh, different, yeah? Uh, and then these things, and then uh, when we recite uh, uh, these uh, 35 Buddha's names, uh, if you see other traditions, we put like Tathagadas, you know, every, every in front of the name up there, we put Tathagada, Tathagada, yeah? So uh, Buddha Das gone behind like Tathagata. But if you see other traditions, you don't see their Tathagata names, yeah? So Lama Zongova, Lama Zongova says, you know, it's good to put, so you, by you saying this, you know, respected word, you create extra merit, you accumulate extra merit. So, you know, since you are, we are doing, you are saying their names, why don't you do extra, you know? So, buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, Namo is same. Namo is uh, actually, is this why I say, just now prostrate like Namo, yeah? So we actually Namai, that's why if you go like in this Namaskar, this is Sanskrit, like homage, homage to, you know, uh, respect to. So actually this way, uh, in the Indian tradition, actually in the Indian tradition in Nepal also, you know, they, when they meet the elder, they see, they touch the feet of the thing, they touch like this, they take, you know, like this. And then, especially they see their parent, they usually they, there's certain things, I think if you are relative, distant relative, they touch with the one hand. Then you are near relative parents, they touch the feet down there, like hand, they do like this, you know, prostrations. So, this kind of, uh, this, uh, because the Tibetan word chak is a hand, you know, and tsal means uh, bow down, bow down, so you bow down, that's chak tsal, yeah. Uh, then, <coughs> so, where we now? Huh? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I just go through the, uh, this, uh, okay. So anyway, here, uh, so this, when you do these 35 Buddhas uh, confessions, I mean the confession on downfall of 35 Buddhas, when you recite these names, in the beginning we say like, uh, uh, I take refuge to Buddha and Dharma Sangha, you know, this, this all the ref going to refuge, that is the power of reliance, it's all the power of reliance, you know. Then, then you recite the Buddha's name and then these things, uh, there's you, you, this is power of remedies, you do these things, yeah. So you undo these things, uh, and then uh, when you finish all reciting all the Buddha's name, uh, then uh, we 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 say like uh, all those I mean all those all those that we call all those thirty-five Buddhas and others, as many Tathagata, Arahat, perfectly completed Buddha as there are existing, sustaining and residing in all the whole systems of the ten direction. All you Buddha Bhagavan, please pay attention to me. So it is, uh, uh, you are requesting all the Buddhas to be, uh, come to a witness, as a witness. Come please, requesting, please come as a witness. Uh, witness? Witness. Witness, witness sorry. Wit <laughs> it's like uh, in the court, in the, if you're caught, there's a witness, yeah? So you are requesting, and say, okay, I'm going to show all my negative action here, I'm putting down here, you know. So please witness. So you are requesting this, yeah. So this thing, and then the <coughs> second ones. There's a first you. Uh, there's three things I think. Uh, so here the the things first. Then you you have to uh, worry about negative action. You're going to confess. You have to recognize. You yeah, recognize. So. So there's uh, three different things, you know. Uh, so you, there's three different kind of negative action you do uh, by uh, what's called uh, <coughs> taking the possessions of the sanghas, or like, uh, or we have offered Buddha's things you are taking without uh, permissions. This thing, you know, like the, here it says. Uh, 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 ever whatever possession of stupas, possession of possession of some the stupa here is actually in Sanskrit. I mean, they translate like stupa, but choten, choten, yeah, choten in in if you direct translate is a uh, stupa in the word, but in another term is uh, the object of offerings, 
object of offerings. Yeah. So it, 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 text is stupa, but actually it's an object of offerings. So like Buddha's, I mean stupa here, like uh, Buddha statues, texts, everything is all an uh, object of offerings. You know. So so it's true. Uh, then possession of sangha, uh, possessions of uh, ten sangha of ten directions that I have appropriate made other to appropriate rejoice in the apparitions whichever yeah then there's another uh, negative action they have created five five action of immediate yeah and then the and then uh, there's a uh, <coughs> And then the being obscured by the karmic cause. So anyway, so this uh, up to here is all the confessions. Confessions, uh, and then uh, from when you recite the, I think you have a text here. Everybody have the name. Buddha said what is, uh, no, not in the text. Huh? No, 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 anyway. So anyway, so then after, anyway, so uh, after here is uh, confessions. Then the the word come from there. All the Bhaga, all the Buddha Bhagavan, please pay attention to me in this life and all other state of rebirth in which I have circled in samsara throughout beginning's life. What are rural virtues I have created by generosity, even little as giving just at mouth. All these are uh, dedic prayer to dedication. Yeah, dedication. So just now I say three heap of three heap is uh, confessions. Uh, uh, dedication and rejoicing. So the rejoicing it lasts only. There's a few one word, yeah. So actually, uh, so then in the last down there word called I, I, I confess all negativity individually. So that is, uh, I rejoice in all the marriages. So there's a rejoice. Yeah? So then there's another word for the I work and implore all Buddha to grant my request. So. Uh, this I urge means that is you are requesting to uh, turn the will of dharmas. Then the, the grant my request is like requesting Buddha or Buddha to remain forever. So this, so that's why it uh, it consists of all the seven impress, yeah, seven impress. Okay. Anybody want to do demonstrations? So anyway, yeah, okay. So this is the roughly this these things. Uh, so <coughs> anyway, so I mean, uh, during prostration, these things. I mean, of course, always important to generate motivation. Yeah, the motivation important. And another thing is like uh, uh, in Tibetan, we do like we, when we do our own practice, practice, whatever practice it is like during retreat or during prostrations, we don't we don't advertise. You know, actually, these obstacles. You know, so we don't say, oh, today is going, for, going to do, I'm going to do prostration. Like, you know, you can't put in the Facebook, yeah? <laughs> maybe you can put also, face, oh, I'm going to deposit money, you know, and then maybe, yeah? Oh, I'm going to put my things in the safe, you know? And then if you, if you advertise in the Facebook, maybe then okay lah. <laughs> but uh, you see, like, uh, especially like this, doing this thing is private things, you know, on individual private things, you know? Especially during retreat. You, there's a, I mean, you can tell you think you are certain group, Dharma groups, we can trust it, you know, or your teacher, these things, but you don't advertise these things because there's obstacles, you know. You, I'm going to do prostration, this thing, I mean, this thing is your recommend. So, it is, uh, I mean, you can tell your friend through a di maybe different way, but not to advertise in the Facebook. Oh, I'm going to do that, no. There's uh, sometimes actually you, instead of uh, reducing your ego, you increase your egos, you know, <laughs> right? So, uh, and it's because, uh, and also is there's uh, like obstacles you can you cannot see. You no, know? I mean there's uh, uh, there's uh, many different there's a lot of I mean human and human beings. There's always obstacle occurs. You know, so certain things you do privately. You know, there's things you have to avoid. Yeah, otherwise usually we we are, I mean we we tell oh I did this like this thing, but uh, we do never say I have this much money in the bank. 
and I have this much gold in my safe. We never, we never announce their things, you know, right? So same like this, practicing these things is also like, you know, we do our, th I mean, things. There's, of course, certain things, whom to tell, not to tell, there's certain boundaries, you know, these things, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, any questions? I don't know, I think my, my things a little bit mix up and down, not become sequence, yeah. So I don't know whether you get, uh, whether, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure whether I, I tell correct or not. Any questions? I don't know. Maybe let me ask first. Then if you say that we do prostration, uh, confession, all this, then uh, how do we know whether, uh, although we want to believe it, you know, or I have confessed this, or it works, how do we know whether it really you know, purify us? How do we know? How do we know? That one's <laughs> you see, like, uh, I mean, when it look like this, one thing is like when we, we say like hell realm, we say Buddha realm, God realms, we, we think hell realm is down under there somewhere, right? We think, oh, God realm is up there. I mean, actually, it's uh, in a state of mind, you know. Hell realm is also, you, you can see if you, I mean, I don't know, if you go like Indian or somewhere, you can see hell realm is actually, you know, certain things. It's a state of mind. So same like, Prostrations also, they're doing confession also. I mean, you're doing just one time and then and you expect to uh, purify again, you, know, you feel it like these things, you know. You, you keep doing sincerely, properly, and then after one month, after one year, after two years, believe me, there's uh, things you feel, I mean, I mean this, is, this thing is inside, you don't, people might, I mean, of course, the certain people, these things come out a little bit, kind of their body shine, physical shine, things come out, but a lot of things is from your experience, in dry experience, you know. Like when you talk about it, people say, I realize emptiness, then how, how, how to show the realize emptiness? It's your feelings, it's inside your, you know, how, you, how, you, how much subdue or not subdue is depends on, you know, right? So, I mean, uh, sometimes I read, your, I mean, we all friends in the Facebook, yeah, I read, oh, sometimes people say, oh, God, 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 we hear all the same teaching last. Well, it's not the same teachings. Of course, the same teachings. Buddha taught what, what I say is I don't create. I have, what I learn from this, I say it's not teachings. I'm sharing things. But if you don't practice, no matter how much you listen, it's the same, you know. But then, by listening like uh, His Holiness, Dalai Lama, like these things, but being there, just it also uh, purify our negatives, karmas. It also, it put a called imprint in our minds, you know, right? So, just say like, you know, I mean, sometimes we have, a, you know, in Kopan we offer like meditation, meditation courses, you know, then some, some people say, go to court, then second day, the next day they leave, you know, because, oh, this I read in a book. I think read, then the reading books and doing courses is different, you know. Of course, you get the information in the books, but in the course there, you get whatever in the books, information, you process, then become a data, right? If you don't process, you don't become data. Like information, you process, then become a data, right? So, same like you listen, teaching all these things. You know, you, I mean, you're every week, you have a Lama teach Thursday and Friday, you know, and then all the time, every day. We don't get that teaching, you know? <laughs> but. Then, uh, then uh, the question is, of course, you get teaching, listen, listen, but then if you don't practice, it's no use. So you have to process. When you process, then the data, on, of course, it get, it's guaranteed there will be data come out. You know? So same like, if you, if you sincerely, I mean, uh, practice, sincerely do purification practice, whatever, I mean, whatever practice you do, the result will come, you know. Let's say like, uh, if the person is very angry, anger, I mean, it, person who get angry very quickly, you know. So if you, if he first, he or she understand what is the pro and con of getting angry, you understand then, let's say you reduce tomorrow, you get angry, but immediately remember the negative part of the anger, then reduce anger, the next day reduce anger. I can guarantee that in after one or two years, the persons, maybe not totally got reduced, but you can reduce anger, you know. That's, uh, that's the effects. That's why when we talk about session, cessation of two-road path, this actually is 
there's a, because every action is created through the mind, right? So the remedy also have to apply on the mind, you know. So anyway, I mean, there was. Then once you try, I mean, of course you can't expect like people say, okay, tau, tau, tau. Then you immediately, uh, you immediately get uh, you know result or like 40. Some people get 40. I mean, but that one, yeah, so sometimes you have to think in, always think in the cause and conditions, law and effect. You know, so there's I mean, if you have a if you have a created positive karma from the past life, then it's condition arises. It's just like a the seed. You have a if you, if the seed has the potential to grow, you know. So when you put on the nice, with a good field, you put a fertilizer, you put a water proper time, it grows. If the seed doesn't have a potential, then no matter how much good fertilizer or water you put, it will not grow. Same like you have created all the positive actions, then you just go pray in front there, you know, then of course, then the condition arises, and then, you know, otherwise, without, without any causes, you can't expect to be, Result, right? <laughs> so better not, better not try to wander around. <laughs> cannot help. Sometimes when I prostrate, the mind wanders around. And no, after that, when I realized that my mind wandered, I felt very guilty. No, that is uh, in the beginning, it's a natural, you know, because that's why we say our uncontrolled mind. In Buddhist teaching, all the time, so we are uncontrolled because our minds, the moment you sit down, like, now of course you're doing one work because you, but you are, the moment you sit down, like curly, then it's, it's run every direction, you know, this, you look like so many minds, you know. Then you, that's why sometimes uh, <coughs> Buddhist teacher advise people to look, do every morning 10 or 20 minutes meditations. The reason is, you see, like, for me also, like, more, when I'm working, every time I do my prayers, all my plans come out, you know, whole days, what I'm doing, you know, it's kind of coming in the sequence, actually. <laughs> so, mind's difficult, you know, but uh, that's why why they're called, uh, just now, anyway, I, before I forgot that, uh, so, in order to, that's not, anyway, I forgot that's, in order to realize that nature of our mind, we have to we have to realize the special insight. For this, we have to do a karma abiding meditation. We have to do a concentrations. So this is this thing. So, of course, wonder in the beginning. So you try to bring back, try to bring back. You know, slowly, slowly. Don't force. Other force, then you get a lung. What is called lung? Lung is Tibetan word. Yeah, it's a wind disease. You get depressions. You know. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, of course, in the beginning it's wandered around, but uh, you practice, practice make perfect. I mean, of course, because it's wrong, because we have so much, uh, we are, uh, because we have more negative imprint than the positive imprint, no? That's the reasons our mind is constantly run out. So, because, because of this reason, that's why we are suffering. We talk of suffering. Lama uh, Kedo. Uh, today we talk about this. This is 35 Buddha confession, mm. prostration, right? Um, if, let's say we are accumulating, we want to do the 100,000, do we need to follow this text? Uh, can we add other Buddha's names? No, you can do another. That means uh, if you go in the winter, Budgaya, Budgaya, there's, uh, you see 100, 100 people doing prostration, no? they do, all this they do for the 100,000, they do uh, 100,000. So they usually take three months, about three months, four months, I don't, depends on, some people finish one and a half months, but there's, I don't know how proper they do, yeah? So you need to go, we need to do proper, <laughs> actually it's this way, uh, in the Lama Tsongkhapa traditions, we don't count number, but we, we do proper, we, we say properly, you know, otherwise number is, uh, number is good. and also if you do properly and then many number is good because it it, it uh, create condition to rejoice you know but then otherwise you like you know that's why uh, you just uh, you just do many prostrations I mean like oh I forgot also mentioned here like when you prostrations you do 
You see, like I forget everything. <laughs> That's why Kaima was all the time smiling me, you know. I was wondering what's, where, I, where I make a mistake. <laughs> so anyway, when you do prostrations, uh, of course there's uh, three ways. You either you do it here, 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 like this. Um, your, what do you call Crown, and then neck, and this thing, or the five things you do. Crown, then uh, forehead, here, like this. So. So by doing a, putting a hand here, you create a condition to get, like Buddha has a, what's called a posture, huh? Huh? Ugnisha. What do you call English? They call posture, post, huh? Posture. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I can't pronounce. All this, I have, my, my tongue is very thick, you know. <laughs> so anyway, you create condition to get that thing, you know. And then if you want you touch here, forehead, uh, you have a, Buddha have a special hair, you know. In Buddha's uh, have a, uh, there's a 32 marks, uh, these things, you know. So Buddha have a this, only these things here, you know, specials, yeah. So if this, uh, you get a, huh? Zopu, in Tibetan called Zopu. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know what they call in English, yeah. So anyway, there's a Buddha has a hair, this, so special conditions, yeah? So, so this one, so then when you do this, uh, you have a condition to be a um, sweet voice. You must become a singer, you know, actually. That's why sometimes you have to rejoice the singer. They have a past life, they have created so good karma to be, you know. Uh, nice voice, everybody like, you know, the moment they sing like, you know. Uh, <laughs> like a Whitney, Whitney, what? Whitney, Whitney Winston, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, so when you do here, so you have a great condition to be a, uh, generate Buddha's mind. Yeah. So these things, and also, and then another thing is like by doing these these three things, also you you represent your body, speech, and mind. You and then you purify all these things. You know. <coughs> And then anyway, there's uh, many qualities mentions, but now I'm confused and I can't remember. <laughs> Lama Kedo, yeah. so when we do prostration, can we also imagine, let's say, uh, parents who are not able to prostrate, you prostrate on their behalf as well? Let me see, imagine them beside you or friends or other beings, you imagine beside you and then prostrate together. Yeah, of course, just now I say all sentient beings, you know, so when I say all sentient beings, it's included there, right? <laughs> right? So when I say you visualize many hands, you know, if possible, of course, you visualize many uh, bodies and many head and many hands, but sometimes uh, our mind is certain things, it's difficult to fit into our mind, you know, so what do you do? Maybe you can... Oh, one other way is like you visualize all your many lives that beginning list that you can visualize and portrait. Another easiest is like you can visualize like a thousand arms, as you can so many arms generate, and then when you touch ground, all the sentient beings, you purify all sentient beings, negative karma, you purify together. You visualize. So when I say all sentient beings, your parents, your parents, everything included there, you know. So you have to arise, you have to arise first as the Buddha. But for people who have not taken initiation, can they also imagine that they are chirinzik? No, I mean, so you, you imagine they're all sentient beings. Not like you don't have to like think over that you receive initiation, not initiation, you know. You just visualize as a sentient beings where sufferings, you know, all these things. So you visualize there and purify negative karmas. Now another way is like you can, you can uh, in the tantric practice, when you do this Bhattasattva practice, you take all sentient beings Naked karma into your, you know, then you purify like that. And this, maybe you can do that way, same. Uh, what you do is, you, you take all your relatives, friends, all the things being naked karma yourselves, and then when you Buddha specialize, you from 35 Buddha light arises, the light is in the rays form, or in the, then wash down whole negative karma, negative actions together, totally down, go underneath, and you purify. And if you feel yourself, your body transparent, you feel. So you you have to you have to need a condition that all your negative can be fine, you know, and then you feel like your body is very light, you know, like that. Okay, Namakiro, I have one more question. Easy okay. one, yeah. 
I don't know whether is it easy. Okay, for the prostration, I understand most of the time when we lie down, we are supposed to bring our hand all the way to the back. Not back, you just do like this and then touch the ground like this, yeah? No, no, after touching the ground, uh -huh. we are bringing our hand backwards, yeah, before you I don't they do before, I think it's usually what you do is like this, then should go touch like this. Yeah, and then after that, when huh? before, before we get up, huh? we were taught to touch the back before. Ah, uh, text didn't say specifically that. Some, that, some yeah. just raise their hand yeah, like just, that. Mm. Then you go up yeah. like this, lah. That's what I do. I don't know. I mean, I see some people they do like this, lah. I, mean, I don't know. But text it didn't say specifically like that, yeah. So I'm not sure that. <laughs> okay. But anyways, this why I say just you have to get up quickly. Then if you do like that, then you are relaxing slowly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Okay. So anyway, no question. Then uh, I hope you understand. I don't know I, I, whether I <laughs> a little bit kind of up and down. Certain things uh, I didn't, it didn't come into mind. Anyway, so so anyways, so we dedicate this thing. Uh, Uh, hello, good evening, Lama. Yeah. The five preliminaries, right? If possible, we have to do it within this lifetime, right? No, that's why I say, like, uh, in some traditions, before taking initiation, anything, so you do the, all the preliminary practice very, very much emphasized. Uh, very much emphasized, but uh, in uh, Lama Zongoba traditions, yeah, it is. You mentioned about the preliminary practice, but uh, there's a defense, depends on what kind of environment, you know. Uh, environment you have to do la. But like monasteries, they say like in the monastery, if you are doing all the studies, everything, studying these things. So it's also partly the preliminary practice, partly included there. You know, so you no need to go just specifically do preliminary. Of course, we have uh, monks. Some they live in monastery and then do the preliminary practice. Um, but of course, if you could do, there's. But uh, one thing is like. Uh, uh, every tradition, uh, we have a, they, they do three year and three month retreat. For that, uh, you have to do the preliminary practices uh, compulsory. Yeah? You have to do that. It's actually, it's a, the three year retreat, it's actually the preliminary practices come under the three, year, three year retreats. All the, all the five preliminaries have been three months. Uh, no, 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 three years re is in yes. within the included within three years retreat, yeah. yeah. So you have to, before you finish the, the, your major retreat, you do the, all the preliminary practice. Of course, if you finish before, then it's included there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, hope we should try to do it within this lifetime, right? Are we, we able to of be course, we should Are try we to get in line in this life. You know, it's possible, no, right? Can we be? In, can we? If we don't do this five, we, we, the chances of being enlightened is very slim, right? Pardon? If we don't do these five preliminaries, uh -huh. what are our chances of being enlightened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, even no guaranteed. Even doing preliminary, no guaranteed you get enlightened. You know, right? No guarantee, you know. Unless you let go of everything, like a Milarepa. If you go let go of everything, an impossibility there is. But then if you don't let go, even you do five, not five, but if you do ten, I don't think there's a guarantee to enlighten. It's not like a criteria. <laughs> no, really, I mean, that's why I say, that's, that's, why, that's why there's many cause, there's many conditions. Let's say, like, some people don't need to do preliminary practice. They get realization, you know. Yeah, that's, that's why I said there's many. It's like uh, certain people they have accumulated many things from the life, from the from the life, you know. For them it's easy. Like, for them it's like this times maybe things, certain things. It's the same like uh, again. I mean, I don't know. We, we put analogy like uh, maybe some some students in the schools, they can they can jump or jump and finish their school very 
quickly. Yeah? Some people, they have to follow normal, and then certain people, maybe what are called uh, abnormal, what are called, what are called, they are some school, yeah? Uh, what school are that? Those people who are slow learning? Huh? Huh? It's, I mean, there's an express, then, then, then normal, and then, yeah, then, yeah, so, yeah. So, same like this, huh? So, I mean, if you have a good karma, they have a credit, merit from the beginning, good karma, yeah. So, this is the things we have to do, the, we are, that's the reason that we, I anyway, the whole subject is, today's subject is included there, yeah, for the reasons. Any questions? So if no questions, then we stop here, yeah? So, <coughs> so what, oh, I forgot, I anyway forgot. So, uh, anyway, I mean, so when you do prostrations, you can do recite 35 Buddha names, then you can also do the seven medicine Buddha names. It's like here, it's also included the seven Buddha's name, yeah? Then also, uh, mm, there you can do the general confession. You do the general confession also, like uh, you can, uh, it depends on how, I mean, if you're doing like every morning, every morning and before sleeping, you do morning, only one set, and what you do is you just go through, recite, and if you're not doing number, you just go recite and do prostration. How many number? I mean, you just, if you memorize, then you just recite, do prostration, no matter 10, 5, 6, 7, I don't know, depends on the, yeah. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, or oh, you can do like uh, recite, recite the Buddha, one Buddha's name and do in prostrations, you know, like if you do 35, then 35 names, then you do whatever numbers. You know, another way is like if you are calculating, counting the numbers, then like you recite one Buddha's name, then how many count you want, like just do one Buddha's name and then maybe first, like let's say you're doing uh, 20 prostrations, then you first you do just one Buddha's name, one Buddha's name, like easier, yeah, easier to things, yeah, like that. Or you just go through, uh, one Buddha until 35, then go back, and then at the, at the last thing, then you finish everything, then you do the medicine, uh, that's called, uh, you do the general confessions, then you do the dedications like that, yeah. And also, like, I mean, if you are not doing prostrations also, like, uh, you can, <coughs> you can, you can recite the names, you know, it's powerful then. Another thing I forgot is like prostrations, the prostrations we just now mentioned too, but there's more, like, you know, so, prostrations, like when you come around, you just you know, you see Buddha's things and you also just do like this, you know, like this, like this. It's also mentally you respect thing, you know, it's also prostrations. Uh, there's a story like, uh, <coughs> and, uh, you, you, I mean, there's a, uh, when Shari Buddha, like before, one of his lifetimes, uh, he was traveling around and uh, there's a heavy rain, you know, heavy rain. So. He sheltered in one of the empty houses, so it's kind of very dark, but then uh, <coughs> very dark. So anyway, there's a lightning. So when the lightning comes, the, the, there's a, in the wall, there's a picture of Buddha, you know. So lightning, when the lightning comes, he just see the flick in that picture. Then, so he just pay respect and then, uh, you know, just mentally generate, oh, future, in the future, I become like you. So, so this, by doing just this and respecting, you know, he creates so much, uh, accumulates so much merit that you know, when the other time in lifetime, he's always near the Buddha, you know, always near Buddha, yeah, Sari Buddha. So just, that's why actually if you have nothing to do, it's, there's some people coming to temple all the time, they're actually, but they, are, they are doing all the good, all the time, you know, good. You just come here doing prostration, you know, you're like doing this. If you do prostration, good. If you can also like this. So every time you see like Buddha statue, uh, Buddha's pictures, every time you just go like this, you know, respect these things. It's also por kind of prostration, you know. So prostration have a like, ment I mean, you do like three body, like you do prostration, or also mentally generate prostrations. Yeah, prostration many different things. Sorry, like kind of my is like, I just didn't remember uh, sequentially, yeah, so. Okay, so anyway, we, we dedicate whatever good actions we, for the sake of all sentient beings, so Anila, please recite the, uh, Dedications, press. <coughs> <coughs>